Eov, Job 2. Again there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahuwah, and Satan came also among them to present himself before Yahuwah. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, From whence come you? And Satan answered at Yahuwah and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Eov, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears Elohim and eschews evil? And still he holds fast his integrity, although you moved me against him, to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered at Yahuwah and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man has will he give for his life. But put forth your hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, but save at his life. So went Satan forth from the presence of Yahuwah, and smote at Eov with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a potsherd to scrape himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. And then said his woman unto him, Do you still retain your integrity? Bless Elohim and die. But he said unto her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. What shall we with, rather what, shall we ath receive good at the hand of Elohim, and shall we not ath receive evil? In all this did not Eov sin with his lips. Now when Eov's three friends heard ath of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Temani, and Bildad the Shuchi, and Sofar the Namanafi. For they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they lifted up at their eyes afar off, and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept. And they rent every one his mantle, and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward the heavens. So they sat down with him upon the ground, seven days and seven nights, and none spoke a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great.